वेलकम टू जी सी रेडी टेक्नोलॉजी गाइडलाइंस फॉर राइटिंग टेस्ट केसेस राइटिंग टेस्ट केसेस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग वेदर इट इज मैन्युअल टेस्टिंग और ऑटोमेटेड टेस्टिंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क इज राइटिंग टेस्ट केसेस अदर टास्क ऑल्सो देर एग्जीक्यूटिंग टेस्ट केसेस analyzing test result reporting defects tracking defects etc but is an important task and one more thing in manual testing uh, we have two types of process formal testing informal testing in formal testing we write test cases and execute test cases but in informal testing example the exploratory testing the error guessing uh, ad hoc manner in informal testing we may not write test cases generally we don't write test cases in informal testing we just execute test cases just uh, with the experience with previous experience or by exploring the application we try to find the defects but in automated testing no informal testing concept automated testing is formal uh, for automated testing you take any test tool uh, selenium uft rft silk test test complete any tool writing test cases or test script is mandatory okay uh here some guidelines are there uh try to understand first one automated test case scope is more than manual test case uh why say if it is manual test case generally we prefer to insert a single verification point suppose if we have multiple verification points in any functionality then we can split that functionality uh in manual testing if we insert multiple verification points in a test case then human user can't concentrate on multiple verification points at a time so generally we prefer single verification point in a manual test case if it is automated test case we can insert multiple verification points in a test case why in automated testing we use test tool for our test tool for testing test tool is software software can concentrate on multiple verification points at a time you can insert uh, 10 uh, conditional statements 10 loop statements in your uh, not only 10 10 or more two or more uh, loop statements in your uh, test cases tool tool is software it can concentrate but in manual testing human user can't concentrate on multiple verification points at a time so uh, generally in automated test cases Uh, we uh, we try to insert multiple verification points so conclusion automated test case scope is more than manual test case uh one example on real time scenario suppose uh, if you have 800 test cases 800 manual test cases in your project need to automate for that 800 equivalent automated test scripts are not required using 3 or 400 approximately using 3 or 400 automated test cases or test scripts you can automate those 800 manual test cases okay next uh, second point test data or input is not required for every test case in our project yes 
see test data or input is required for some test cases suppose in your navigation any input field is there edit box is there then input data is required input is required suppose no input field in your uh, navigation no test data for example observe uh, in this uh, small application just this see the project admin interface observe in this admin interface of the sample application uh, admin login functionality is there enter username enter password click login button for this uh, for this uh, test case test data required input fields are there suppose another test case uh, read a page redirection from admin to user interface by clicking on this link online catalog link you can redirect from admin to user interface uh, click this link redirecting uh, by capturing the url and uh, compare with it uh, expected you can uh, confirm this functionality for this page redirection functionality no test data required but for login functionality test data required so i full i justified this one test data or input is not required for every test case only for a few test cases test data required next third one the completeness of software testing is positive and negative testing yes say suppose our application is responding uh, uh, fine for our valid inputs but what about handling invalid inputs for authorized operations our application is responding what about handling unauthorized operations see it has to handle valid input and prevent invalid input so the completeness of software testing is positive and negative testing uh, and one more thing uh, positive testing for every test requirement only one positive scenario but multiple negative scenarios so negative testing is bigger than positive testing for example take login functionality login with valid username and valid password that is positive scenario next multiple negative scenarios uh login with invalid username valid password that is one iterate uh, that is one test that is one negative scenario next valid username invalid password next both invalid next username blank valid password next valid password username blank next both blank like okay next fourth one some requirements may not may not have negative scenarios yes see suppose for this uh, login functionality where uh, positive scenario is there admin login with valid username and valid password that is positive scenario next negative scenarios are there with the invalid data next observe this page redirection functionality by clicking this online catalog link you can get user interface of the application for this one no negative scenario no negative scenario next conducting positive and negative testing say generally we use valid input for conducting positive testing and invalid input for negative testing if we have input in our test case suppose if we don't have input or test data in our test case that time using incorrect expected result 
you can conduct the negative testing. Next, result analysis is an important task in performance testing than functional testing. Yes, in functional testing, result analysis is analyzing test result is very simple. Pass or fail. Sometimes you may get runtime errors by handling that runtime errors. You can get a uh, failed status or passed status based on your uh, application functionality. Suppose 5 plus 3, 8. Exact value. Pass it. Suppose 10 into 3, 30. Pass. 10 into 3. Suppose if it is showing 0, fail. But performance test result is not like that. See, functional test result de purely depends on, on the application functionality. Suppose the functional test result is showing failed status, then definitely it is the problem of problem of the application functionality. Suppose performance testing. See, for analyzing performance test result we need to consider several factors. Suppose one test is uh, failed, uh, not, uh, not as expected that time. Maybe application performance issue or uh, server response problem or network communicators problem, etc. By analyzing the by analyzing all these things, uh, we can look at the exact problem in performance testing. Next, in manual testing, uh, we can write test cases using either Excel file or test management tool. Okay. Say uh, for automated testing using Selenium or EFT or RFT, uh, we may have editors tool editors in that editor we can write we can write test cases if it is uft commercial tool rft commercial tool they have editors suppose selenium selenium web driver is api it doesn't have editor uh, using eclipse id like platform uh, we will have editor and write test scripts but in manual testing uh, generally, if we use any test management tool like ALM, Application Lifecycle Management or uh, not R, Application Lifecycle Management, uh, formerly Quality Center, or Zira, or TestLink, uh, every test management tool provides a template, test case template for writing test cases and it stores test cases in tabular format uh, and uh, some tools provide not some tools i think uh, all tools provide a, a template customization also based on your project requirement you can customize your test case template in test management tools suppose uh, nowadays most of the companies using any one uh, test management tool or defect management tool at least. Suppose in your project no test management tool uh, that time uh, using Excel like a spreadsheet uh, using company prescribed test case template we write test cases. Next we derive test, test cases from requirements uh, if you follow sequential software development like waterfall model and V model. Next, user stories for incremental and iterative model like Agile model. Agile model. See, in V model or waterfall model, we derive test cases using requirements. In Agile methodology, Agile methodologies. Agile is an umbrella term. Agile development models. Agile is not a single model. Uh, multiple methodologies. Scrum, 
the extreme programming, Kanban, etc. are there. Okay. In incremental or incremental and iterative models like agile methodologies, we use user stories for writing test cases. Next, last one. We collect test data from different sources. See, test data collection, test data preparation. Uh, both are synonyms, but uh, most suitable term is collecting test data. Why? See, uh, for our test cases, we collect test data from different sources. For example, uh, in our application web page, uh, one phone number object is there our phone number field is there as per requirements it has to take 10 digit numeric values and started with either 9 or 8 series for that you can prepare test data tester can prepare test data suppose uh, another functionality we are checking one functionality using different cities that city's information depends on the customer business suppose our customer business available in 10 cities in india uh, bombay bengaluru hyderabad chennai uh, delhi kolkata etc we need to collect that city's information from from the customer next suppose in our application home page 10 objects or elements should be there uh, three edit boxes two images two links and one comment box etc we need to collect this type of information from developers why developers only know the application design details see these are the uh, important guidelines for writing selenium test cases Thank you.